some of the what are what some of the harm that we're looking at from the fracking industry? Well, I mean, it ranges everywhere from like that extremely personal to to global, right? Like at that extremely personal level, we're looking at things like you know people who can light their water on fire, folks who get all sorts of like cancers, can no longer you know have children, or you know are just become incredibly sick. Um, you know, destruction of property value, you know, now we're moving into that sort of like mid-regional range, um, going from, you know, these places of beauty and potential to, you know, places of exploitation, industrial zones everywhere. Um, and then you go to that more global level and we're just looking at, you know, this is just putting money in a fossil fuel company's pocket so that, you know, they can just burn fossil fuels. It's not going to make our gas cheaper. It's not going to make us more energy dependent. You know, if anything, we're just, you know, burning carbon, you know, just, just burning stuff. And, you know, we can have 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere before we have catastrophic global climate catastrophe, the kind of runaway climate change that, you know, makes this planet look more like it did when the dinosaurs are around. Essentially not a planet that, you know, human civilization evolved to be on. Right now we're at, you know, 392 parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere. You know, this is, you know, on that global level, this is just one of the, like the Keystone XL pipeline, this is like game over for the climate. So it spills, it's cancer, it's contaminated water. I mean, when you poison water underground by a fracking, that water is contaminated forever. You know, like you can't uncontaminate an aquifer once you've poisoned it. So, you know, are these companies going to be around for 10,000 years? Are they going to be around for 10 years? Are they going to be around for 100 years? Probably not, you know, but human beings will have to be around here for this long. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And what, what's some of the threat we're looking at from the fracking industry? Pollution. Pollution of the water. Uh, really egregious pollution with cancer-causing carcinogenic chemicals. Uh, look at the Waxman report. Henry Waxman got out an EPA, US EPA report of what the chemicals are that they use. And it's not just xylene and benzene and toluene and there's just methyl. Uh, there's chemicals you cannot pronounce that are cancer-causing, proven to cause cancer in humans. Um, the other thing about fracking is when they get the flowback water up, you know, that they have to inject far below the earth because it's so dangerous. One of the reasons is it contains barium-226, 228, strontium, a lot of radioactive material. Because when they're down there in the shale, there's radioactivity. We do not need the amount of water, millions of gallons it takes per frack, expended on this. This water is never recoverable, no matter what propaganda the industry gives you. It is never recoverable. It can't be cleaned. Okay, thank you. Thank you. People in Youngstown have simply been victims for far too long. Through the steel industry and the horrible, horrible pollution of the steel industry, the coal industry, the pollution from that, the sickness and, and the horrible health conditions of people over the past decades in Youngstown is just deplorable. The condition of the Mahoning River, come on, it's just been foul. People use it as a dumping ground. That's got to stop. The Mahoning River is a sacred body of water, just like all bodies of water around the world. The initiative in Youngstown is about keeping our rights to live as we wish, in a controlled, citizen-based way. We don't want to be victims anymore. It's wrong. And we should not have to live that way as a sacrificial victim for the industries to come in here, create deplorable living conditions, causing all kinds of terrible diseases, including cancer. Ohio is the number one most polluted state in the, in the country, in the country, and number three in cancer. Number three. Do we want that to continue? We do not.